Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We are doing 2017 Bowman Draft Baseball. This is Jumbo Edition. Four box random tee break number 19. So 19, that's a uh, half case break from a fresh case. Those are not today's break hours. I don't know why that's still there. There we go. That's gone. All right. So uh, big thanks to these folks right here for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. Remember, we also have some combo teams. Orioles, Cubs are comboed. Cardinals, Nationals comboed. So let's randomize each list. Three and a two, five times. One, two, three, four, and five. So after five times, we've got Nick down to Jesse. Uh, three and a two, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and five. That was easy. Mariners down to the combo spot, Cardinals, Nationals. Let's pop them in right here. All right, so Nick, you have the Seattle Mariners. Karen with the Blue Jays. Mike Coons with the Brew Crew. Joe Johns with Last Spot Mojo gets my Dodgers. Lee Keller with the Padres. Uh, Darren with the Indians. Rich with the Rangers. Jesse with the White Sox and the Astros. Mike with the Yankees. Josh with the Rockies. Mark with the Tigers. Colin with the Mets. Uh, Joe Fagundis. Joe F. with the Reds. Justin, you've got the Phillies. Jesse with the Royals. Joel, you've got the Marlins. Jason with the Rays. Anthony with the Red Sox. Uh, Andy with the Giants. Manuel with the Twins. Jesse with the Pirates. Rich with the Orioles-Cubs combo. Nick with the Braves. Uh, Garza, you got the Diamondbacks. Jesse with the Angels. Lee Keller, you've got the A's. And Jesse with the Cardinals-Nationals combo. So let's alphabetize by team. Let's print this guy out. Feel free to trade. I feel like not a lot of trades happen in these kind of breaks, but if you want to trade, go for it. Remember, these are prospects. Uh, and mostly from the 2017 draft class. While people are trading, here's what we'll do. I'm going to open up this case, and we're going to see which four boxes we're going to do. All right, so for the top row, it'll be one, two, three, and then for the bottom row, four, five, six, I'm going to pick. This guy right here, I like this one. All right, good luck boxes. And it's four, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we will reserve this for the next random team break. So I'll write RT on here. And we'll, so we might, we might have a good chance of doing this tonight actually. All right, I, do I see any trades? I don't think I see any trades. All right, so I'll type TWC in the chat. It means trade window is closed. So here's the official printout right here on a Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. Thanks for joining us here at the beginning of the week. Uh, Andy Owens has the Giants just rocks, although I don't... I don't think I see it in the room at the moment. Also, just rocks. Um, in case you're wondering where everyone else is, most of our crew ends up watching on the YouTube stream. So, I mean, you feel free to stay on Breakers.tv if you want to, but if you feel like interacting, then uh, you could click that link. And there's a chat in there as well. Okay, let's do this one. All right, good luck, everybody. So 
this is uh, Bowman Draft 19, Random Team Break 19. The second half is in the store already. So that's on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Second half in there already, and I think we're already selling spots in that second half. So if you want to run this back, I'm sure we can run this back tonight. A lot of people uh, love prospecting, so that's why this set is always popular from year to year. And you'd be, you'd be, uh, if you're not familiar with this product, you'd be shocked at how some of the higher round draft picks, uh, how much they sell for right now, even before they've stepped foot on a major league ball club. All right, remember, paper base doesn't ship, so all this paper right here will not ship. So we'll breeze through those. All this chrome will ship. This autograph will obviously ship. Brent Rooker is our first auto of the day. Three per box is what we should expect. Although every case seems to have a box where there's a, where there's a bonus auto or two. This one will go to the Twins, it's their late first round pick. That'll go to uh, Garza, who has the Twins, nice. They have the first overall pick. Royce Lewis, so that's a big name to be looking for, for Garza. So we'll breeze through this paper. It's all paper right here. And obviously this paper will ship too, green paper, because it's number 24 out of 99. Green paper, Michael Kopech, Chicago White Sox for Jesse. We'll top load these, uh, shipping team will top load those before they go out. Just in the interest of time, we'll be breezing through those. Scott Hurst. Out of 399. For the Redbirds, that'll be for Jesse. Looking for two more autographs out of here. And there it is, purple chrome autograph, Clark Schmidt for the Yankees. The Evil Empire, Mike Swan with that one. 15 out of 250. There's, there's been some crazy talk about the Yankees getting much, wanting to get Machado as well, and then trying to flip Stanton to the Dodgers before he opts out, before Stanton has the opt out. A lot of crazy talk happening in baseball. I don't think there's been, has there been a lot of significant moves over the weekend? I don't think I noticed any. Looking at MLBTradeRumors.com. I don't think anything huge yet. I.e., I don't think J.D. Martinez has signed yet. Arietta, Hugh Darvish, those guys haven't signed yet. Trevor Clifton. For the Cubs, that's the 70th anniversary. Trevor Clifton Blue Chrome, that is to 200. Oh, I did see that. Kemp to the Dodgers. Uh, I guess that was the big kind of deal um, of the weekend. But I think the Dodgers are intending to release Matt Kemp or, tr or try to trade him. But that was clearly, you know, a big salary dump between the Braves right here. This goes to the Braves. Freddie Tarnock out of 150. That'll go to Nick LaPlante. But yeah, clearly a salary dump for both sides. I think uh, the Braves pretty much released Adrian Gonzalez as soon as they got him. And I think the Dodgers are going to try to trade Matt Kemp or, or end, up re end up releasing him. The Dodgers, I think they're... Initially, I thought maybe the Dodgers were going to go somewhat big, either on Stanton or maybe some others. 
There's Clark Schmidt again, refractor autograph for the Yankees. That goes to Mike Swan. Um, but then I realized, no, you know what? They're they're clearing payroll. They're trying to get under the luxury tax. It's a refractor auto, 187 out of 499 for Mike Swan. But but yeah, I mean they're clearly trying to get under the luxury tax penalty this year because once you get under for one season, then you then the then the penalties reset down to the lowest amount the following year. So the Dodgers have been over the luxury tax for a number of years, and so they've been pay, uh, paying the max for a while. Out of four ninety nine, Brendan Little for the Cubs, and I think after a certain amount of time. You end up start, starting to lose, uh, if you clear another threshold of payroll, I think you end up um, losing draft picks as well, or, you, or, or you're, you get lower draft picks. Like if you, if you end up drafting 10th, you get dropped down to 20th or something crazy like that. There's Jacob Pearson, purple chrome, out of 250. So yeah, so there are a lot of reasons for the Dodgers to do that. Uh, yeah, definitely a salary dump, TJ, for sure. Hey, listen. If we we got we got Casimir's like fifteen million dollar a year contract off the board. We got Brandon McCarthy's like seventeen eighteen million off the board. Uh, Andrew Andrew Gonzalez, I was sad to see go. Big fan of his, but obviously he's been showing signs of his age, and he's getting paid like twenty two twenty three million dollars. So unfortunately, he had to go as well. Those are the casualties of getting under that luxury tax. Brian, what's going on, man? How are you? Abner, Chris, what's going on? So those are some of the casualties. But uh, from what the from what the Dodgers front office were saying, they're like, you know, their front office is trying to be somewhat coy about it. But um, ultimately, they were just like, yeah, Apparently, they're, you know, kind of sarcastically, tongue-in-cheek. Yeah, apparently there's a big free agent class in 18 and 19. And Clayton Kershaw can opt out after this season, I think. Which he probably will. So, Dodgers had to clear, clear space for all of that. Uh, Brian is asking about football during a baseball break. That's kind of confusing. Not going to be talking football during a baseball break, but we'll talk about that after this break. Right now, we're in baseball mode. So, yeah, so the Dodgers hoping to make a big splash in free agency. Next. So, I guess, I think the Dodgers are kind of standing pat this year. <laughs> I, you know, I think they're... They're counting on the depth of their organization, the depth of their farm system, for young guys to step up, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. The Angels, they've made, they've made, speaking of Southern California teams, the Angels have made a lot of big moves too. I think they're really trying to trying to maximize the last few years of Mike Trout's contract. There's Kristen Stewart. No, not the vampire. This is the baseball player, Kristen Stewart. Out of three ninety nine. There's Andy Abanez, blue paper, out of 150. And, wow, nice. Gold autograph, Caden Lemons. When life gives you lemons, you give them Caden. 43 out of 50. For the Brew Crew, 
Brewers. That'll go to Mike Koontz. The Brewers got uh, Giovanni Gallardo back. The Brewers had a pretty decent season last year. Very solid season. I think a lot of their young players stepped up at a 4.99 and, and it kind of advanced a little more quickly than I think even Brewers fans thought. Corey Abbott going to the Cubs. Rich with that one. So they're making moves. I think starting pitching was kind of their their big need. Twins need starting pitching as well. They, they were trying to get in on the Otani sweepstakes. I think they're talking to you, Darvish. They're talking to Jake Arrieta. We're talking printing plate. Will Craig for the Pirates. No auto, but a nice printing plate right here. That goes to Jesse Rager and the Pittsburgh Pirates. That is a nice hit. Nice one of one. And you know what that means. Out of fives and under, it's a train whistle. Jesse, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! It's pretty strong. Nice. And there's our auto, our second auto. Trevor Rogers for the Miami Marlins. That'll go to Joel. Your 13th overall pick. Might see guys like guys like that sooner rather than later because the Miami Marlins have pretty much gutted their team. Have they moved Yelich yet? I, I guess Marcel Ozuna is gone. I guess Yelich cannot be too far behind. I think. I think they're trying to ask for more for Yelich after giving the Yankees a deal on Stanton. Alec Hansen, 124 out of 200 for the White Sox. That'll be one for uh, Jesse. Riley Pint, purple paper. It's one of the top prospects for the Rockies. He was a fourth overall pick last year. Nice. 89 out of 250. So we'll see, actually. We might see him sooner rather than later. Rockies, that goes to Josh Pruce. Tuki Toussaint out of 399 for the Braves. Nick LaPlante with the Bravos. Nice. I think one of the big rookie names next year for the Braves might be Ronald Okuna. I think with the Kemp deal, they're pretty much paving the way for Ronald Okuna to uh, to get some regular starts. Looking for one more autograph, which should be in here somewhere. There it is, Royce Lewis, wow. That's your first overall pick from 2017. That's a big one for Garza. There you go, sir, nicely done. Thanks for grabbing the Twins. 51 out of 75, Black Refractor, Royce Lewis, your first overall pick in 2017. That's very nice. That is strong. Right, Kevin Maiton ended up with the Angels too. There is, there's Garza. Yeah, he's happy. Nice. We're halfway through this half case break. It's been a nice break so far. After this, I know we have a bunch of orders coming in, so I'm going to double check those orders. 
uh, see what's going on. And we'll go from there. Thanks for joining us on a Monday, everybody. Jaspieshobbyland.com if you want to do the second half of this case. Uh, Red Sox re-signed Mitch Moreland, I guess is some other recent news. JT Real Muto requests a trade. Yeah, I wouldn't want to say there either. Yankees re-signed CC Sabathia. I think that was a one-year deal. Cubs signing Steve Shisick, bolstering their bullpen. Quint signing Fernando Rodney, also bolstering their bullpen. Rangers acquiring Matt Moore. Astro signing Hector Rondon. All relatively minor deals so far. Yeah. So JT Real Muto and Christian Yelich look like they're, they're, they want out. So I'm sure they'll be moved. Kind of a mess down there in Miami. But yeah, I mean, if I'm the Marlins, if you're going to clean a house, I guess you might as well clean a house. You got to move Yelich, move Real Muto. You know, load up on prospects, you know. Start trying to Try to make the rebuild as quickly as possible. All right. So we'll breathe through this paper. And, oh, this is nice. That's a facsimile autograph. That's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. It's a short print, though. That's pretty cool. That goes to the Blue Jays, Karen Steele, with that one. Ah, that's Vladimir Guerrero's kid. I think some of you may remember. Remember that old video, that old YouTube video, I think, where he was only like 13 or something like that, and he was just destroying in batting practice. The Blue Jays also have Bo Bichette, Dante's kid. There's our first autograph out of this box. Matt Tabor for Garza, Diamondbacks. Garza having a nice break. Then they have Ulysses Guriel's brother. I think someone was saying they have another like sibling or, or son or something like that on their team. Blue Jays going pedigree. Speaking of, there's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. out of 150. Blue paper for Karen and the Blue Jays. Why that card was flipped around, but I think it was nothing. Uh, Wyatt Mills for the Mariners. It's for Nicola Plant with the Mariners. Two seventeen out of three ninety nine. Yeah, this is all paper right here. here looking for two more autographs and there's one of them Kevin Merrill for the Oakland A's that'll be for Lee Keller Lee Keller on the board with an autograph nice late first round pick We got Brent Netzer, paper parallel, 005 out of 499. That'll go to the Red Sox, Anthony.
Purple Chrome, Hans Kraus, 223 out of 250. For the Texas Rangers, that'll be for Rich. KJ Harrison is that's just a refractor. And Ryan Vallad for the Colorado Rockies refractor autograph. This one is numbered. Josh Pruce with the Rocks. 90 out of 4.99 on that one, Josh. And Connor Wong, gold paper for the Dodgers. 24 out of 50. Dodgers have a, some decent catching prospects coming up the ranks. Connor Wong, Will Smith, and of course Austin Barnes already on the big club. Um, that might that might spell a trade for uh, for Yasmani Grandal. So I think he has still has one more year of arbitration, but the Dodgers may choose to move him, considering the prospects coming up. Perhaps. All right, last box, folks. So, um, does anyone have any predictions for the remaining, uh, oh, right, Farmer as well, yeah, a lot of catching prospects. Does anyone have any uh, predictions on the remaining kind of big free agents? Uh, U Darvish, talk to me, folks. Where, did, where does U Darvish go? MLBTradeRumors.com, according to them, uh, they're predicting the Cubs, six years, 160 million, which sounds about right. But the Dodgers are apparently still in talks with you, Darvish. Still had a great, uh, still had a great uh, regular season, relatively back to form. But of course, the World Series performance. He had a good postseason too, but the World Series seems to obviously overshadow things, especially in LA. What about J.D. Martinez? Boston Graf's thinking Martinez to the Red Sox. That would be a smart move. Yeah, Blue Line King saying, hey, Orioles need to trade Machado or sign some pitching. And the Orioles, all, starting pitching has always seemed to be an issue for the Orioles. When's the last time they produced a starting pitcher? From the farm system, and I don't think I don't think uh, I don't think Arietta counts, just because he's a completely different pitcher today than he was back then. But like, have you seen that? Maybe <laughs> was the last time they did that. But yeah, they do need that starting pitching. Machado might might be gone. JD Martinez to the Red Sox seems to make a lot of sense. They really need to lock that. Lock that down. Uh, it, it's like it's like basketball, folks. 302 out of 499. Blaine Enlow for the Twins. It's like basketball. It's shift basketball is shifted to small small lineups and uh, and three pointers. Baseball is is uh, it has clearly been shifting towards um, home runs. San Francisco Giants, Red Sox, Cardinals. Those are the teams. That, uh, that really need that home run help. There's Jordan Sheffield, nice. At 399, that is Justice Sheffield's brother. Justice is in the Yankees organization. Jordan, the Dodgers organization. That goes to Joseph Johns. Both pretty highly touted. Yeah, where does Hosmer go? Danny Duffy, where does he end up? Jonathan Ortiz, you cried when we got Matt Kemp back? I, I wish we got 40-40 Matt Kemp back, but unfortunately, kind of injuries has certainly derailed his career. Although he's played okay, I guess. 
recent years. But no, Matt Kemp's going to get traded or released. Gavin Sheets, White Sox. That'll go to Jesse Rager. Twenty nine out of one fifty. Gavin Lux. Yeah, Hosmer could go could end up with the Padres or re sign with Kansas City. Uh yeah, I, I don't want to think about Hosmer on the Yankees. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> Jonathan Ortiz, you want you want the Dodgers trade Kemp for Tebow? I don't, I don't think that's a fair trade. The Mets wouldn't do that. And I don't think I don't think Tebow could uh could make the Dodgers. I think the Dodgers farm system is just so strong. And it's doubtful that Tebow would uh would make the big club with the Dodgers. Although imagine for the hobby, <laughs> like if 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 Tebow ends up with with the Dodgers, 30 out of 99, there's Taylor Trammell for the Reds. That'll go to Joe Fagundes. The value of his cards would, uh, would go up a lot. They're already high. Uh, what about, where does, where does Arietta go? I feel like I have no idea where any of these starting pitchers are going to go. Wow, that's nice. Kyle Wright for the Braves. I think he's like your fifth overall pick, fourth overall pick. Nick LaPlante with the Braves. Nice. That is 159 out of 250. That's a strong autograph right there. Nice. Congrats. Looking for one more autograph. Although sometimes when we see an insert auto, sometimes we see a bonus auto. So there could be more. TJ saying Timmy T has one more year in baseball than he'll be done. That's his prediction. Baseball is hard. I think, I, 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 mean, I mean, I'm kind of impressed at how well Tebow has been doing. But there's a reason why it's just so difficult for a lot of these, a lot of these young players here that we're seeing. You know, half these guys we're not going to see in the majors. You know, there's so just so much, literally so much repetition involved. We'll see what happens. Oh, no worries, Nick. Thanks for getting in. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., purple paper for Karen. For the Blue Jays, out of 250. Boston Graf saying Arietta to the Phillies. The Phillies, I feel like, could make, could be surprise players if if uh, Harper or Machado, when and if they make it to unrestricted free agency, I feel like they're trying to make a big splash. They've they've got a young team. That's uh, that's closer than a lot of people may think. And Christopher Cisse. For the Rangers, that'll go to Rich. That might be our last autograph of the break. Curtis saying that the cap in the Major League Baseball is a joke. It kind of is. You get a slap on the wrist. If you go over the NHL, you lose draft picks. Can get automatic losses for non-compliant rosters. Yeah, they're pretty strict about that. For baseball, it's like if you if you uh, go over once. Then it's like a, it's twenty percent off of every, you know, every dollar you go over. Jacob Heatherly is your last parallel out of one hundred and fifty. Then the next year it's like thirty percent. Then the next year, you know, they give you a lot of chances before you could ever get to a position where you start to lose positions in drafts and lose a lot more money. All right, folks. Uh, that's uh, do I have any randomizers? No, nothing. That's the break, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for hanging out, conversing, talking a little baseball. We've got more 
of that Bowman draft in the store. So if you want to do that, jazbeeshobbyland.com. This is Joe. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.